I think from the very sort of one of the first popular amplifiers that NAD did was the NAD 3020. Um, and one of the features it, it, it boasted was this soft clipping um, option that you could enable and disable from the amplifier if you, were, you wanted it. The idea was that you could run the amplifier up to clipping level um, with risk of less risk of damaging the speakers because obviously as you enter the clipping um, area the, the waveform is well the base of the amplifier is unregulated you're running to the end of the power supply and you get the squaring off of the waveform which causes high distortion and can cause problems with them um, uh, upsets in the amplifier as well you know you're driving the amplifier well beyond what it's meant to do so they came up with this um, soft clipping thing and as you can see here you know rather than just have a discrete switch around the back and no information other than that they put a soft clipping light on the front and they show you the uh, what you're uh, uh, what it's attempting to do is round off the waveform rather than just um, square it off so this let's actually see what we get when if we if we run the soft clipping the amplifiers without soft clipping at the moment there's a switch on the back that's um enables and disables this feature. I'm going to wind the amplifier up to clipping. So this is a one kilohertz tone and we run it up. There we go. And we're running into clipping now and you can see the uh, the ripple from the breakthrough of the power supply. I don't know if you can see this on the camera but this 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 lower and upper trace are uh, they're sort of like oscillating and that's basically because the amplifier is out of head, head of volts trying to work out which is the best brightness for you to see but I think that's probably it. So the amplifier is obviously, obviously well and truly clipping now. The distortion figure will be sort of 5-10%. So let's just get it off clipping there. Now that's off clipping so what I'm going to do now is enable the soft clipping switch and that's just here and the soft clipping is in. Now I don't know if you can see there but the, the waveform even though we're not clipping before the waveform now has been sort of brought back and it's much more rounded you see the rounded top of the uh, peak of the waveform I'll turn it off again and I'll so that's soft clipping off you've got the sort of nice peak and then you've got the soft rounded sort of top of the waveform well that's that's the soft clipping is in so I'm going to drive the amplifier hard into clipping now and see what happens okay you see and it has a well, there's definitely soft clipping. I mean, that's a, quite a nice, smooth transition. Or not a square wave as such, but a sort of it has rounded it off. So that's the soft clipping in, soft clipping out, and you can see that's that's really nasty. And you could you'll hear that distortion. That would that would be very noticeable. So it does work, but what it does do is it does rob you of a small amount of power. Um, Okay, soft clipping is just starting to come in there. And if I turn the soft clipping off again, there we go. And you've got a little few more, you've got another sort of five watts or so before you run into uh, the limit of the power supply. So basically what it is, is a, it's a compression, um, a, a limiter on the front end that stops the amplifier getting close to its um, limit of header volts. So it, it does work um, and things like parties it'd be great because you can leave that on and if someone comes up and who's drunk and turns the volume flat out the amplifier will run at its beam end without any distortion or any nasty distortion and uh, the amplifier will probably survive it perfectly okay uh, as would your speakers but uh, so it is uh, yeah it's um, I suppose they stuck with it so they're obviously pretty sure that it's a it's a good idea but uh, I thought that would be an interesting video and I'm going to just about put this amplifier up for sale, but uh, yeah, nice amplifier, and it's got a good sound, and as I say, NAD have got a good reputation. Thanks for watching.